Hey guys, how are you doing? I hope you're having a great day. It's Mo with Moeswebtips.com again with a very quick web tip. Uh, if you have a WordPress blog and you write a post and you link to another one of your posts, you're going to get a ping back. You're going to get a track back. And for a long time, I didn't understand or know what this was, but I would check my emails and I would have all these these pingbacks, and it looks like it's in the form of a, a comment spam or or a comment, but it's coming from my own website. And uh, I tried to find a solution to how you know what was causing this or how to stop it. And I looked online and I found uh, somebody saying that if you went to settings, discussion, just to show you, allow link notifications from other blogs, pingbacks, and trackbacks. If you uncheck that, that that would solve the problem. It doesn't. It doesn't solve it. So I found a solution and I want to pass this on to you guys. So let me show you how I did it. And let me show you exactly what causes it. So really quickly, let me show you what causes it. So if you write a post, for those of you that might not be familiar with this. So if you go to WordPress, your back end, and you start a new post, and you, uh, you give it a title, and then you write your article in here, and then you create an internal link. So this is an internal link right here. If you basically highlight this, and then create link a link, and then if you put a link in there to another one of your websites, like say I were to link to this page right here, and then I add the link. What's going to happen when I hit update is it's going to send me that track back link back, and it's it can be quite annoying, and it and it clutters up your email box. And I have a lot of websites, and I have a I also have a virtual assistant who who posts articles. So up until today, <laughs> I basically just dealt with all these. Uh, these emails that I kept getting and I was finally I was just like you know I'm gonna figure out how to solve this so this is how you solve that self pingback problem what you need is a special plugin there is no option that I could find inside WordPress that does it so what you want to do this is this this is this is the solution is you go to plugins and you go to add new plugin and then you type in no self pings and then you hit search plugins and what will happen is it'll show up right here and then it'll say and install now and you just basically install it I've already installed it and I went to the WordPress website to, to take a look at it and it's a very commonly installed plugin there was something like 55 or 1,000 uh, downloads, so I I could see that this is definitely a problem that people have wanted to solve. Uh, once you've installed it, all you have to do is go to your plugins, find it in your plugins, and then activate it. And that's it. There's no configuration necessary. Activate the plugin, go write a post, link to one of your blogs, and you will no longer get that self ping, back, ping track back. And the problem is solved, and less, no more clutter in your email. So I hope that helps, guys. Uh, visit me anytime at moeswebtips.com for uh, I have all kinds of tips and other things. And and if you have any comments or anything that you can add to this, please let me know. All right, you guys have a great day.